Can you tell what food this is? Can you imagine what animal would eat it? Come along today as we go to the zoo to learn about how and what animals eat. Animals eat lots of different things in lots of different ways. The first big problem for an animal is that he has to find his food. After he's found it, they've got to catch it. Today we'll see some animals that catch food with their tongues, some that catch it with their feet, some that catch it with their mouths. We'll also see some animals that have special tricky ways of catching their food. We'll see some animals that eat plants, and we'll even see some plants that eat animals. And then finally, we'll go to the zoo's kitchen to see how the zoo feeds its animals. Lots of animals use their eyes to find their food. In our show on All About Eyes, you learned about animals like cats and like birds of prey, the hunters that need to use their eyes to catch their food. Certainly, the big cats that you see at the zoo are a good example of animals that without good eyesight would have a hard time staying alive. They need to be able to see their prey from a long distance away and keep their eyes on them as they chase them down. The sea anemone is a completely different kind of animal. It not only has bad eyesight, it doesn't have any eyesight at all. In fact, sea anemones don't even have teeth. Yet they are able to catch their food and to stay alive. When a fish swims near the mouth of a sea anemone, it can close its entire body around that fish and swallow it. Lots of animals use their feet to catch their food. The great horned owl is a predatory bird that's very large and uses his claws or talons that are very sharp to catch its food. It can catch animals as big as skunks or rabbits, but mostly eats rodents like rats or mice. It'll sit in a tree at night when it's active and swoop down on those animals and eat them, catching them with its feet. Another animal that uses its feet to catch its food is the bear. Bears eat fish and other animals and also use their feet and claws to dig to find animals and plants that they want to eat. The gorilla is an animal that really has four hands. He has thumbs on all four of his feet and can use them just like we use our hands to pick things up and put them in his mouth, to climb trees, and to get around very well. Lots of animals use their feet. Rabbits are animals that don't eat other animals. They eat plants. You can see rabbits in a field often eating grass or the leaves off of a bush or even the bark off of a tree. Rabbits are pretty adaptable and can eat almost anything. They can even eat pine needles in the wintertime. Another animal that eats plants and has special teeth for grinding is the blessbok. The blessbok is a small antelope that comes from the plains of Africa and likes to eat either the leaves off of trees or bushes or grass off the ground. Elephant is also an herbivore, an animal that eats plants. The elephant will pick up plants that it eats with its nose. It'll use its trunk to pull leaves and grasses close to its mouth so that it can eat. So without its trunk or its nose, the elephant would starve to death.
earlier you saw this jar of peanut butter. But could you tell any animals other than man that would eat peanut butter at a zoo? Well, let's think about some of the ways and some of the things that animals eat. Many animals catch their food with their feet, or they chase down their food and catch it. Some animals, of course, use their mouths to catch their food, like reptiles and fish and birds. Some animals can even use their long tongues to catch their food. And we even saw some animals that use special tricks to catch theirs. But this peanut butter goes to a really neat animal at the zoo. We have a special problem. We have an aardvark that weighs about 150 pounds, but in the wild it eats little insects like termites and ants. Well, we can't get enough of those insects, so we mix together a special diet for the aardvark. We use dog food mixed with water, and then cottage cheese, eggs, and peanut butter. And that works out just right since we can't get enough insects. So the next time that you visit the zoo, be sure to think about the different things and the different ways that animals get their food, because now you know how and what animals eat.